Welcome to the 30th episode of Matt's Rad Show. Every 10th episode I do is for a good cause. Today I've traveled to a place called the Samaritan Resource Center. Based out of Orlando, they provide people with the help and support they need to get them back up on their feet. It's a fairly new operation and things are just getting started. They have a lot of dreams and a lot of work to do. So come with me and meet this amazing group of people that's doing their part to make this world a better place. I have been in the homeless ministry for about 30 years. I ran the food pantry at First Baptist Union Park for 14 years mm -hmm. and got to know the clients. Then um, we met as a group of 13 churches to try and form Samaritan Resource Center. We were mobile for three years. We did that just at whatever church was available mm -hmm. to let us come in and use mm -hmm. their facilities, um, offering birth certificates, IDs, social security cards, just whatever, uh, food stamps, whatever the client needs to mm -hmm. try and help make things a little better for them. Um, right now we offer a hot meal when they first come in because so many of them are hungry, first mm -hmm. thing. Saw some pork and beans back there. Yes, yes, Looks it's one of these. Good. You know, it's hard to feed them spiritually when you can't, Yeah. they can't function because they're hungry. You gotta take care of the basic needs right. first. So yeah. that's the first thing we do is feed them and then just see what their needs are and try and care on them, love on them, share that Christ loves them and that that's what we're here for. Hmm. So people, they come and they, they see you guys first. They do. They check in with you guys and what do you, what do, you do if there's a new client that's they coming? In. They get to fill out um, some forms. What? Four pages of forms, okay. And we take a copy of their ID. Great. And um, then we put it up here for them to see uh -huh. the case manager. Okay. And then when the case manager's done, um, they bring it back, it gets inputted in uh, what they did and then everything gets put uh, back again. Great. So, Get the ball rolling. Yep. All starts right here. Yep. Cool. No, we do need many more volunteers though. For counselors, for reception, for the, in the pantries. Mm -hmm. uh, we need counseling. Just everybody we still need. Lots of donations we need. Clothing. Mm -hmm. A little bit of clothing. More food items. Mostly ones that are not perishable. That are zip open cans. Because mm -hmm. um, we hand these out. To, to the needy. Try to get back on their feet and, and become self-sufficient again um, yeah. and getting them to the services that they need and so mm -hmm. it's um, a small thing that I feel I can do. Awesome. It's a medical van that comes. Yes. Oh, cool. How often does that come? Um, well, once a month. I, I think, think once a month. month now but I think it's they're going to try to increase it. they're doing an optical. It. They have, uh, they're hooked up with a couple optical companies that we okay. can send them there. Uh, someone comes and um, volunteers their time to, to cut hair every once in a while. Cool. I don't know if it's But everyone here is here because they want to be there. A volunteer. Right. And it kind of gives you a feeling, a good mm -hmm. feeling. And yeah. you, you, like you said, right. you're helping others. Right. Yeah. Gives you warm fuzzies. Yes. Inside. <laughs> Good way to help others. Yeah. Yeah. Lots sure. of exercise for yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, who's this guy up here? I see his stuff. Somebody donated him. We really couldn't uh, give him away. He's our little man. What's his name? Oh. Somebody donated. Is he sleeping up there? He just, yeah, he just He's really darling. <laughs> kind of hangs out. Get him down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> and these are some of our clients waiting mm -hmm. to see case managers. Very good. Um, having some hot dogs and beans today. Yum. The ladies of us have something good, good, and we like to serve <laughs> water. <laughs> yes. Good. We had 10 volunteers in June. We're now at 35, and wow. just growing every day as we have That's great. offer new services to the people. It's quite the painting there, too. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> I was the decorator, too. That was That's another nice. job. <laughs> in this office, we have a lawyer who's working with clients for disability. My name is Walter Rudolph, not the third. I'm a disability attorney, uh, and what I do mostly is I work through the Disability Resolution PA, uh, you know, corporate. Or it's actually a professional association, and we go and help people fill out um, everything from their initial filing SSI through their 3368, 3369, their 827, 696, 695, etc. Wow. To get them prepped to go through the actual disability process. What's involved with that is getting them through that initial paperwork that they all hate 
and whine and yada yada about. Mm -hmm. And we get them through that so that they can get to their CE so that it gets sent up to DDS, that's the State Disability Determination Group. And then from there what we do, <clears throat> we work with them to develop the record. That's including a lot of things like, you know, uh, diaries, getting uh, everything from letters from prior employers, friends, family, that's getting medical evidence, that's using the correct terminology <coughs> in all their documentation, and then writing briefs, legal briefs, to go ahead and send to the ALJ Administrative Law Judge. So, we're working away, we're doing a good job. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Great. Uh -huh. Well, keep up the good work there, sir. Um, a case manager's office. Case manager's office. <coughs> and we have two case managers working with our client Candy this morning. Hello, morning. hello. What morning. are you guys working on? Uh, Candy needs to see the lawyer. She's trying to work on her disability, uh, get it approved, and she's going to go see the eye doctor tomorrow. They blessing me with a pair of glasses. Gives a sight through the Samaritan Resource Center, and I really appreciate everything they do here. Oh, that's awesome! You're getting a pair of glasses. Yes, that's great. Yes, very well, much needed through our partnerships with different doctors. Okay, that's great. I can't imagine where I'd be without my glasses. I'd be yeah, blind. Yeah, right. They have a lot that's of provisions right. here, and it's just if. Everyone will put their part and mm -hmm. not only take but also give back. You can always ask for help, but what are you doing for yourself? Mm -hmm. You got to have to give back. And this is what we call the famous closet. Famous closet. We have all Flo's, the type of toilet, closet. All the toiletries that we might offer the clients so they, you know, fill our orders. Mm -hmm. Susan serving some hot dogs and beans this morning to mm, the clients. Sounds good. So they have something warm. Pork and beans. Eat. This is emergency food. No one ever leaves here hungry. Got a lot of things from the Boy Scouts, Second Harvest, mm -hmm. um, bakery goods from Publix. This here is Flo. Flo, you want us to turn around and say hi? Hi, Flo. Hi. Got Flo. A quite quite a closet here, Flo. I Thank see it's you. here. Flo you, you, you. is 90 years young. 90 years young. <laughs> oversees this closet. Wow. Iron hand. Well, I have Always good ready. help. Yeah. I have very good help. Wow. So how long you been volunteering here for, Flo? Oh, I don't... I've been with the homeless with Sheila since uh, 02, 03. Okay. But I've been here since they opened. I've since been, they opened? Yeah. And you were doing volunteer work before that, I bet, yes, too? Yes, yeah? Yeah. So. so you're 90 years old and you come here to volunteer and help out. Yes, sir. That's amazing. Thank you. That's really great. Yeah. <laughs> Any words of wisdom for my, my audience here on what keeps you young and active and enjoying life? Just don't slow down. Just keep moving. Just keep moving? <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. You're doing great work. 90 years old. Thank you. <laughs> you can see there's food here, two refrigerators full of food. Uh, these are men's clothing. Great. Always bottled water. <clears throat> we highly encourage our clients to drink bottled water. Mm -hmm. when the uh, well, I usually just help um, like make sandwiches. Mm -hmm. We usually have something hot that we'll dish up. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, you know, just whatever's available for that day. Great. This was a nice haircut room, and then these ladies came in. This is another room over here. That started out as my haircut room. We give haircuts a couple times a month. Oh, okay. But now all of this is ladies' clothes. Okay. Plus, I have to put a case manager here. Okay. So we are quickly running out of space and can't wait to move into the new building. Wow. How many later this summer. clients or cases do you do you have right now currently? Well, we usually see about 30 clients per day. Wow. And yeah. are they usually all different or is it a lot of the same ones coming back? And Both. Both. And we yeah. get a lot of new clients too that we've never seen before. Wow. Can yeah. I have you, wow. Gina? Yeah. yeah.
Like today, I'm here to get help get a phone because I didn't have a phone. Mm -hmm. um, and so they have like these public assistant type phones mm -hmm. and they were able to help me get the phone and she's just getting ready to get it set up for me. Oh, awesome. That's exciting. I've been without a phone for about three months now. It's hard yeah. to be without a phone, man. Yeah. Hard to be without a phone yeah. and message. As she was saying, I'm looking for work. Mm -hmm. So it gets um, difficult. A church lady led me to the center. Okay. And um, I was able to get clothing because when I okay. shifted from my previous situation to my current situation, I mm -hmm. lost clothing, shoes, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And these shoes are from here. Oh, this very nice. Sweaters from here. Um, and then just a bunch of other stuff. My computer at where I'm staying right mm -hmm. now, all, everything pretty much is, is from here. When during your consultation you can get like a like warm soup and garlic bread. Mm. And warm food is so special when you haven't had any in a while. Mm -hmm. um, and just the way they care for you, it's, um, it's awesome. They, they have a lot of respect and honoring people no matter where they're coming from or what their circumstances are mm -hmm. and it reminds me of the hospitality that my people have i'm from rwanda it's a small country oh, in wow. africa i've been to burundi you have oh yeah those are our neighbors yeah. and you know like they they may not have much but whatever they have they mm -hmm. they're faithful with it and they want to share it and that's that's exactly what I saw when I came to the Samaritan Resource Center. Mm. Whatever that they are being trusted with, they they give it with a lot of care and, and this honesty. And I've just been blessed by the center here. Wow. Well, thanks for, for sharing part of your story <laughs> with pleasure. us. So that's really cool. So your, your dreams and hopes then for this phone is to be able to be connected to more people and uh, get a job. Employers, yeah. Employers, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. And we did swap it out, so it's uh, charging and ready to go. She'll be able to contact employers and friends. And uh, I wanted to tell Giselle that there's a there's a job fair on, on Wednesday. We'll talk about it. I was amazed it. by Giselle's story and how much a simple phone is going to make a huge difference in her life. She has dreams of going back to Valencia and transferring to UCF to get her college degree but first she needs to find a job so she can afford it. And this phone is gonna help her do that. A life skills class on Monday? We've started a life skills class. Only have two or three students right now, but um, trying to help them just take the next step in their life. Mm -hmm. There's other life skills classes around, but we found that our folks that aren't eligible for like jobs partnership. They just need more help with their computer skills. They need more help with their personal lives first before they mm -hmm. go to another job kind of program. Mm -hmm. so yeah. We've just started this class. We're going to see how we take it farther. Great. Yep. Everywhere I turned, I would run into somebody else who was there to volunteer or had an amazing story of how this place had or was helping them out. Here's a man who lives in the woods nearby, but still volunteers at the Samaritan Resource Center to keep things clean. This is Roy. He's hey, a Roy. cleaner. He comes in and cleans for us. Cleaning? Hello. Yep. Can you talk about a little bit about what the Samaritan Resource Center does for people like you well, uh, in your situation and the kind of help it provides? It helps out with uh, food when we need it, clothing, um, mm -hmm. haircuts, free haircuts. Mm -hmm. uh, usually have some pastries out front. Well, that's always nice. Some pastries yeah. or some bread. And mm -hmm. Something to take, take with you, you know. Mm -hmm. Or you got something to eat when you get home to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, you know, a lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. So what's it like uh, living in the woods day to day for the turnout? It's not really that bad. I mean, yeah, it's just how you make it. Like living anywhere else, you have yeah, to a lot of sure. batteries out because you don't have electric. But. A lot of batteries, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All firewood. <laughs> yeah. I cook on the firewood. So, mm -hmm. so is it like a, a campsite? A bunch of you guys live uh, together? Or? Where I'm at, there's only me and um, the guy and his girlfriend. Cool. And my dog and cat. So. Mm -hmm. It's kind of remote. Yep. And you come here and you volunteer as well? Yes, I come here and clean up. Uh, clean up and Monday through Thursday. Cool. Okay. That's awesome. 
You guys are doing great work here, helping a lot of people, I think. Thank you. So that's really, really cool. So. What's your name? Matt. Matt Roy. Roy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Roy. So what all goes into cleaning this place up? What all you got to do? Clean them off and take trash out. Mm -hmm. Tear the boxes apart whenever they have boxes. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty much whatever needs to be done. Like this door, it was um, um, the wrong way, so we switch it around. I switch it around. Oh, you switch the door for him? Oh, that's good. I do. I do all she has one. Yeah. Make it work. Make it work. Handyman. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, all right. So what are some of the dreams and plans that you guys have for the we place? We have lots of dreams and our goal uh, April-ish, they're supposed to start construction on our building next door. That will be our case management building and in the case management building we will all move over there and then we are also going to add um, a doctor in their facilities five days a week, 40 hours a week for the clients. Then this building will turn into washers and dryers and showers so that we will continue to do the client's laundry and allow them to get a shower and just a safe place to come and stop for a little bit, take a breather, and, um, and, and again, just so we can just share Christ's love with them. There was once a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, and on the way he was attacked by robbers. They took his clothes, they beat him up, and they went off leaving him half dead. But luckily a priest was on the way down the same road. But when he saw the man, he angled across to the other side. Then a Levite, or another religious man, showed up. He also avoided the injured man. And then a Samaritan, traveling the road, came on him. When he saw the man's condition, his heart went out to him. He gave him first aid, disinfecting and bandaging his wounds. Then he lifted him onto his donkey. He led him to an inn and he made him feel comfortable. In the morning he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper, saying take good care of him and if it costs any more, put it on my bill. I'll pay you on the way back. I'm simply amazed by people who act this way, act so selflessly, and just want to do nothing more than just to help somebody else who's in need. This is the Samaritan Resource Center. All right, guys, we are now leaving uh, the Samaritan Resource Center for today. Uh, met a lot of amazing people in that place today. There's a lot of amazing people working there, serving there, volunteering there, but also just some cool people I met that um, just need a little bit of help, just need a little bit of extra help. So once again, an amazing group of people, amazing place, location, doing all kinds of good work for people. I can't believe some of the people I met in there, Flo, oh my goodness, the, the lady from Rwanda, and just amazing, amazing. The gentleman living in the woods, it's it's just pretty amazing listening to their stories. Um, so if you ever find a chance to, to serve at a place like this, or find a place like this, uh, go and do it. Uh, go and do it, because you're going to meet a lot of amazing people, and the people are going to be extremely, you know, thankful that you can go and help them. And uh, whoever you are, no matter how old you are too, look at Flo, she's 90 years old. That right there says that helping out, staying active is a good thing for the human body. She's 90 years old, she's ready to go. And she, the people there said they would, she would run circles around most of the, the workers that, that volunteer there too. Crazy. All right guys, we're leaving the Samaritan Resource Center now. I had to get back in my car, it's too noisy. Out there, gonna do a U-turn here and head home, folks. Um, so, I uh, just wanna say thank you guys for watching this 30th episode. All of you guys that watched it, wanna just say thanks for watching these and just, again, just wanna encourage you to go out there and uh, find some place that you can go serve at. Um, you can make a difference in your own community, wherever you're at, just share a bit of who you are, the skills you have, you can go out there and uh, help clean someplace, you know? Show up to a homeless shelter or some people are a food bank or something like that and be like, hey, need some help clean it up? And they'll be like, yeah, all right. Give them a call first, let them know you're coming and um, you can do some good good things there. Um, so yeah, there's all kinds of good stuff that you can do for your fellow man, folks. That's what these 10th episodes are all about. Um, going to these places, checking them out. See, letting you guys know how easy it is just to show up and how appreciative and how cool a lot of the people are that are working at these kinds of places. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the 30th episode. Uh, stay tuned for episode 31. It's going to be Megacon, all kinds of Megacon stuff coming up. And uh, I'll be putting them out real soon because I'm editing that episode right now as we speak. So, uh, well, not right now, not exactly right now, but, you know, uh, editing that episode, like, soon. 
like today and tomorrow and the next day or who knows and putting all that stuff out of here pretty soon so thanks guys for joining me on these episodes really appreciate it hope you guys have a great day wherever you're at and uh yeah go and be light guys go be light go have some fun in the process too make this world a better place together we can put this place back together all righty folks that's all i got for today want to say i love you guys thanks for joining me on these episodes and i will talk to you later peace okay bye please go to www.samaritanresourcecenter.org to find out how you can help out today